What's going on everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a quick look at the all new Curry 6 in the heart of the town colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. So they're an Australian based men's jewelry and accessory company and they produce some very high quality, wearable and versatile product. On my wrist today, I'm rocking the Blackstone bead bracelet. So you'll be able to grab this one along with some of my other favorites down in the link below. So be sure to check them out, give them a follow and show them some love. So back to the shoes, First off, a huge thank you goes out to Under Armour Canada for sending me over this pair. These dropped yesterday, January 18th for $130 US dollars or $160 here in Canada. The inspiration behind this shoe is based off of Steph Curry's love for the city of Oakland. He considers that his second home considering he spent his entire NBA career playing with the Golden State Warriors. So that's why red being the color that's synonymous with love and hearts makes perfect sense for these shoes. If you guys haven't seen my previous review of the Curry 6, I'll add that link to the video down below. In that video, I'll give you a much more in-depth breakdown of the technology behind this shoe, along with my experiences playing in them as well. So today is just more of a quicker look, so let's jump straight into it. As you can see, the entire shoe is pretty much all done in red. Starting things off with the upper, so we have this knitted upper, which is nylon backed around the toe box. At the very edge of the toe box, we have the synthetic leather paneling, giving you added durability. Found looping around the middle of the shoe, we have more of this synthetic leather. And then intertwined through this, we have this red cable, which acts as the lace loops for the laces. The laces in this case is just your flat style lace in red, but they do have the Steph Curry logo on the lace tips. Underneath the laces, we have your knitted tongue, which is very stretchy and very flexible, especially compared to the rest of the knitted upper. At the very top of the tongue, we have this pull tab, along with this oval piece of black leather. And here we have the Under Armour logo along with the numbers 30 and 6 debossed into the leather. As we move towards the back end of the shoe, here you can see the introduction of black underlays. So the knit begins to open up a little bit more, so we can see this contrast of black and red. And I like this because it introduces something a little bit different compared to the all red that's found on the rest of the shoe. We also have this rubberized heel counter that's also done in red. And we have this glossy Under Armour logo debossed in the center. So the reason for this is that it's supposed to give you added stability and added lockdown towards the back end of your foot. So the interior of these Curry 6s is also done in red. We have this padded inner collar. And then as I take out the insole, we have a black and red colored insole with the signature phrase, I can do all things found on the heel. So the upper of these Curry 6s sits atop this full length hover foam midsole. So this hover foam is sort of contained in this netting, which you can see as you take a closer look at the foam itself which helps to contain the foam, which by itself could be overly soft and give you added structure and support. The introduction of hover foam on the Curry line is a significant improvement compared to the previous models of Steph Curry's shoes. It truly is night and day. This really feels more like a conventional basketball sneaker as opposed to the previous editions that had very minimalistic cushioning in the shoes. Within the Curry 6, we also have a speed plate, which is this translucent piece that you can see on the lateral side of the shoe. This gives you lateral stability and then it wraps onto the bottom of the shoe as well, giving you additional arc support. So on the right shoe, we have Steph Curry's signature, along with that phrase once again, I can do all things. Found on top of the speed plate, we have your rubber outsole. So once again, the entire outsole is done in red. We have Steph Curry's logo etched out in the middle. And then you can see on the forefoot and the bottom heel, the outsole is done in this split fashion. So from a sizing standpoint, my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I've traditionally gotten size 10 and a half in my past curries because I felt that they ran a little bit more on the narrow side. For these guys, I was able to go true to size, so I got these in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. You might feel a little bit of pinching around this midfoot area right here, but at least for the previous colorway that I played in, I felt that little bit of discomfort disappear after about two hours. Of course, I definitely recommend trying them on in store if you can. These probably aren't gonna sell out, so I'd recommend doing that to ensure you guys get the perfect fit. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these guys look on feet.
Not too long ago, all red sneakers were super hyped, but then since then they've kind of died off and become out of style. However, I think enough time has passed that reintroducing this all red sneaker, especially on a basketball model, actually looks really really good on these Curry 6s. And so far, this one is my favorite colorway of the bunch. From a performance standpoint, I recommend these. I've heard some durability issues about the outsole, but I personally haven't experienced any of that on my Fox Theater colorway. So I'm curious to know if you guys have had any issues with your Curry 6s, and if the durability complaints are legit, let's see what Under Armour does to address it in future colorways. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca If you guys haven't noticed, I also just recently surpassed 50,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'm actually doing a few giveaways on my Instagram, and I posted one this morning, so be sure to check that out, and there'll be a few more to come in the next few days. Before we end this video, one final shout out goes out to Under Armour Canada for sending me this pair. And a thank you goes out to the sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.